weeks because it's been a frantic weekend. You saw Credit Suisse, the takeover by rival UBS. What does this mean for the overall investment landscape? Shanali Basak, who's been working around the clock on Sunday, in fact, outside the company's New York headquarters. How does it feel? Listen, Caroline, this is really an iconic moment. This is an iconic building. I'm standing in front of Credit Suisse at 11 Madison Avenue, a building that they've been at since the 1990s, not too long ago, signing a multi-decade lease filled with people in one of the biggest investment banks in the United States. And now their cross-time rival just less than 30 blocks away. The fate of this building, the people in it, there are a lot of anxieties that are under the surface. Remember, the UBS CEO in a memo just late yesterday had told his staff that this is not a done deal yet in the sense that it still needs to close, meaning they should not be sharing information yet with their rivals over at Credit Suisse, as Credit Suisse is still indeed a rival. With that said, remember, before this deal was ever announced, Caroline, Credit Suisse had a plan to cut about 9,000 jobs over time. And UBS, while they have not given that sense of how deep the headcount reductions could go, there's still a plan to have about an 8 billion Swiss franc cost reduction plan annually through 2027, which implies significant job cuts. Now, on one hand, there is some silver lining here that when folks across Wall Street look at what's happening, Credit Suisse has been one of the top investment banks in the world. It presents an interesting opportunity for UBS to be getting even bigger in the United States. There are some worries as they roll off some of the more difficult assets in that investment bank. But this is really, at this moment, in, in addition to a financial story, a very significant right. talent one with deep history here in the United States. United States.